Uh, hi guys, sorry for the late start. Right, in the voice chat. I don't know if anyone else is coming through for commentary, but uh, welcome to the first Cyberbots Full Metal Mondays. This is going to be our bi-weekly tournament series online, uh, run on Fightcade. So far, it looks like eight people checked in. I'm just going to run Swiss anyway. I think Swiss is definitely like a good format for playing most games and giving people a chance to kind of get warmed up before the final bracket. So, uh, GS Darkus and Luminati did not check in. Unfortunately, they were a pretty good player, but we've got a few really solid players in this lineup so far. So first up, we're going to get Miller 2B versus OG Cornflakes. Let me just tag people. Otherwise, the rest of uh, round one on the bracket can start. So that's S91 versus McDonald and James, Hanbei versus Slamtown, and Pipe Jr. versus Vice Assistant. I'm going to call, call out those matches in the uh, matchmaking channel. Let me switch sides. All right, got in just in time. So we've got uh, Cornflakes on Blodia here and Miller 2B on Tarantula. Run to a quick... Uh... All right, sorry, there we go. Let me actually commentate this now. All right, so yeah, right now Mother 2B's got a slightly Tarantula is a pretty interesting character. He's got a lot of good space control tools. Not like the same kind of instantly accessible high-low game because of no tri-dash, but he does have an instant overhead. And uh, just, you know, jump to W is really good at just kind of locking people down if you get to set it up. Oh, that could have been it right there. Oh, nice use of the bit right there to stop him. God, this game is really fast-paced. All right. But yeah, Miller's, Miller's been moving around a lot, kind of looking for this opening against uh, Cornflakes right now. Fortunately, Cornflakes is just not staying grounded enough for Tarantula's like big grounded starters like that boost light. Oh, good catch. That's going to do a solid chunk of damage. Goes for the setup. I think if you delay that a little bit, that might have actually been the unblockable, right? Tarantula's got an unblockable setup with a uh, down weapon into uh, the stomp right there. Oh, blocks a good... Cr I forget what uh, the 40 type's called, but the burst right there. Because they've got, all got a different name for that global function. Oh, good punish. You have OTG throw. Oh, DP trades with the weapons. It's kind of interesting, actually. Oh. I think Miller might have done the wrong uh, arm there. Oh, nice. I think he wanted, er earlier in that combo, when he got uh, 2W, he wanted to get 632H to get that downward angled uh, powered wrecker. All right. Tarantula with a lead is really annoying to chase down sometimes. So we'll see how uh, OG Cornflakes deals with this. But yeah, for anyone not familiar with the Swiss format, I'm going to get just one part. Oh, oh man, doesn't get the DP afterwards, but a little too quick for OG Cornflakes to punish. Now he's without his arm, that's huge. All right, gets it back pretty quickly, though. But uh, yeah, for anyone not familiar with the Swiss format, everyone's going to play out their matches at the same time, much like a uh, kind of like a round robin. And I'm going to get one on stream. And that'll make things progress a lot quicker and get people to play a lot of different matchups. And then the top four of like, once the Swiss rounds are done, will be put into a separate uh, double limb bracket, which will be top, you know, first of three, top four. All right, We're playing in neutral right now. Oh, good strike with the jump H. 
Oh, nice catch with DP. Not fast enough to get an OTG though. I don't think... I'm not sure if you actually have enough advantage to get OTG from that. You might have to resort to like uh, 2W, which is not a lot of damage and makes him get up pretty quickly, but it's better than nothing. Oh, nice. Yeah, sometimes you just knock them away at an awkward angle and can't really capitalize on them not having the arm. Because every character loses uh, some special moves, I think, and throws without the arm. And throws are really the important part. Sometimes you you really need to reversal throw to get out of something. Oh, good combo right there. Alright, nice round star powered record. Moving around a lot. Oh, good block. Okay. Yeah, they're kind of feeling each other out right now. Good catch. Oh, just slightly out of range of that super to hit. I don't know if uh, Cornflakes knew, knows what's up with uh, Tarantula's super. Because that is a grab that also also doubles as an anti-air. Because it will, it will grab when he jumps up. It's actually really good at breaking people's defenses in certain situations. Oh. Dang. I know Tarantula can... Uh, you know, hit confirm with uh, with 5H after that dashing light as well. Oh, oh my God! Grabs me out of the DP at the peak. That's uh, insane. All right, yeah, things are looking pretty rough for OG Cornflakes. Suspends his burst, but doesn't get the hit. Yeah, this is going to be a hard comeback to make with only 20 seconds left, but it's uh, it's still doable for Blodia. You know, Blodia combos do a lot of damage. Oh no, it just runs right up into that. And that's going to be 2-0 for Miller 2-B. Alright, well played. Let me see who else is playing right now. Han Baber is Slam Town. I'm going to put that on. Right, the score in this is one for Hyundai right now. Ooh, all right. Two very interesting bots in their own right. Riot's uh, got really strong runaway tools, but uh, Golden can put on a lot of damage. Has got some odd mix-ups and has the frame one uh, boost weapon, which is really interesting. Uh, can be unblockable randomly, and is just a really useful, you know, tool to mash on. Uh, you know, guard cancel boost, whatever you want. Yeah, you guys can also enter your scores directly on Challenge. All right. Oh man. Yeah, that's that's gonna be it. That's how right it is sometimes. Slamtown fought really hard though. That's the thing. He always picks these kind of slow, high damage characters and manages to make his way in with them a lot of the time. It's really something else. You should see his birdie in Alpha too. All right. That's two for Pipe Junior. Uh, two for Hanbei. All right. So that was one quick round of Swiss right there. Now. I'm looking to get like good matches on stream and also to get people who haven't been already. Uh, let's see, we got Miller 2B last time, so let's go with S91 versus Pipe Jr. And this is going to be Swiss round two. And then that means, yeah, OG Cornflakes versus Slamtown, uh, Mick D. James versus Vice Assistant, and Miller 2B versus Hyundai. Uh, I guess I'll just tag these on Fight K then, just to make it easier.
Okay, there we go. Everyone should know what they're getting into. Right, so that's Pipe Jr. on the left. There we go. Right. The uh, Pipe also on Lodia. Uh, again, Lodia is a good bot to kind of get the hang of the game with. He's got all the necessary tools. Decent high-low game. I mean, he's only got sweep, but again, you can charge cancel sweep to make that safe. Oh. Oh, no punish on the DP. That's unfortunate. And on the other hand, you've got Jackal, who has kind of some interesting movement options. Uh, Tatsu, which is really powerful if you can land it. And just really good buttons in general. Right. Oh no, did you throw? Alright, kind of backing off right now. Oh, nice hit, yeah. So again, all the kind of spider leg types there got have that uh, long reaching jump H. Oh, lands a throw. Yeah, Cyberbots is just all about setting these, setting up these kind of mix-up situations where it's like you don't even know if you're going to get hit or grabbed, or you don't know what's coming next. Like, Strike Throw is fundamentally really good in this game, again, because you've got Street Fighter-style proximity throws. Right. Yeah, right now this is looking like S91's game, but... There still is, uh, you know, 50, over 50 seconds left on the clock, so there's a lot of time to make that comeback. Oh, dang, gets the OTG with 2W. Nice. So that's one for S91. Also, Sup Inc, dude, I've been pretty much doing this by myself right now, so it's been a little hard to keep up with chat, but I hope people are enjoying. All right, same characters. Also, another interesting quirk to deal with how powerful air blocking is in this is uh, you can't. It's impossible to air block if someone's behind you. So sometimes you know positioning yourself right can blow up someone air blocking. Just playing defensively in general. And you know, obviously everyone's got. A limited set of boosts. It's mostly the uh, hover type characters that you really got to worry about. Uh, Riot, uh, Alion, and I'm trying to remember what the other ones are. I haven't seen any bosses so far. I mean, we're only in two rounds, so we might see them. All right, yep. S91 just kind of putting himself in a good position with these uh, double jumps the Jackal has. Yeah, we're just trading throws right now. All right. I'm actually not sure who has the lead right now. I think it's Pipe Jr. Oh. Oh no. No punish on that burst. Oh nice, gets a throw. And that's gonna take it. So that's 1-1. One, one. Oh, possible character switch? Oh, okay. S91 switching to Reptos. Reptos is probably one of the most uh, offense-geared bots in this. Like, he's got some solid uh, projectiles there, but his real his real kind of gimmick is uh, his air-to-ground throw, which might be a bug, but uh, Fatality Dunk, just 2-2 two, two L or H. If he does it properly, if you boost right above the opponent and cancel, then you can uh, just grab them from any height. Alright, things not looking too great for him at the moment. It is it is almost kind of necessary for Reptus to have that though, because he doesn't have any lows. Uh, Which means that like his sort of tri-dash mix-up isn't, isn't the same as a lot of other characters who have it. Oh, okay, good OTG throw.
right? Pipe Union just kind of keeping his distance. Oh, gets a throw. All right, yeah, he's he's got a pretty good lead to work with. Reptos has super on deck though. Reptos probably has one of the better supers. Florida also has a good one though. Oh, nice catch. Oh man, I saw S91 start off his weapon there, but uh, Belodia's was a little too fast. So well played, Pipe Jr. is going to take that 2-1. I'm going to be right back, but I'm going to put on uh, on Bay versus Miller 2B. Let's see, the score on this is 1-0 uh, for Hanbei. Actually, I'm just going to... Oh, wow, Miller 2B took, took one. All right, I'm going to be right back. Alright, we're back. Going to this uh, somewhat close match right now between Tarantula and Riot. Yeah, Riot's air movement is kind of silly. You know, you think a bot with a giant arm like that would be very much like a rush down or like kind of a brawler, you know, slow, heavy damage, but really this character's strength is just running away. Oh, good catch though. All right, this is the last uh, set of round two. Good to see everyone else has reported their scores. Yeah, right now we're just kind of trying to figure things out here. This is this is really what Riot excels at right here. Now, Tarantula does have a few different uh, versions of Powered Wrecker there. Obviously, a uh, heavy version goes up at an angle like that. You also have, if you press light and heavy at the same time, you actually get a straight upward version. I think, man, this is brutal. Oh, it tries to use a Giga Crush there to hit him. Now, Tarantula, again, Super is uh, also also works on air opponents and is obviously air unblockable but it doesn't reach too high so that you know it's hard to force riot to respect you oh good good job there with that you know block powered wrecker into the throw oh oh man he's out of there yeah that's this is tough i think the best thing for miller to do here is just to kind of charge up that meter a little bit with whatever time's left and man, the meter is so interesting in this game because you don't always want to have max meter because you kind of, a lot of bots kind of rely on charge canceling to do their pressure. Oh wow, this, yeah, that hurts. Oh my god, there it is, a burst. Wow, good stuff to Miller 2B. So that's 2-1 for Miller 2B. I'm glad we caught some of that. That looked like a really good set.
All right, let me update things. I'm gonna decide who to put on stream next. All right, on stream, we're going to get uh, Hanbei versus McDonald and James. And then the rest of those... Uh... The rest of those are going to be off stream. All right, Slamtown's already playing. Let me just tag everyone else who's not. There we go. We'll put a bit of Slam and Vice's assistant on stream just because, uh, oh, they, okay, they just started. They want to keep people waiting too long. Now, uh, James from Canada and Hanbei from Brazil. I guess this might not be an ideal connection, but I did want to include uh, the South American players in this because they've got some solid players too. Ooh, all right, is that, yeah, that's going to be, man, it's going to be one of the stall matches, huh? This, uh, man, I saw this in uh, in one of uh, the VODs from Mikado somewhat recently. I mean, they don't play that game like every week, but it was a pretty recent upload where I saw this mirror and it ended up being like Riot kind of tick throwing Hellion to death because uh, Hellion does have a very slow jump start of like 15 frames, 16 frames, something like that. So if you get Hellion on the ground, which I mean... <laughs> It's it's kind of hard to prevent them from getting into the air on round start, I think. But I haven't played the match about too much. But if you can manage to uh, knock him down or get him to come down once, that could be the round. Oh, good punish. Alright, not quite enough time to get that OTG. Oh, nice. Alright, Hanbei very narrowly taking that. All right, now this is looking very much. In okay, so I guess that uh, I think that's jump L from Helion that uh can be punished if you do it from the wrong height. Oh, supers are the corner, but doesn't really uh doesn't really help him there. All right, Hanbei's gonna take that first first game. I have the wrong Discord on, on that. Let me fix this. Sorry, haven't updated that in a minute. There we go. All right. Yeah, this is looking pretty hard for James to make up here. Although, I'm not sure what Hellion really has in the way of ground and mix-ups to try and open Riot up. As you have like Dash L, Charge Cancel to take throw. Definitely a matchup I'm gonna have to 
gonna have to ask uh, some of the more experienced players about. Because for right now, Hanbei's making me look riot favored. But James could just be a relatively new player to this game. Alright, good throw punish. Oh, nice, okay. That's actually perfect. But yeah, this is looking, looking somewhat close, but I kind of hope Hanbei takes this. Very good combo. Nice. Very good cross up, but good block on James' part. All right, good punish. Nice, gets the OTG. Oh. All right, I thought James was gonna get hit by that again. You have to block Logan's that move yet. Oh. Oh, that almost killed. I think uh, Hanbei maybe wasn't sure that he had the meter to uh, actually do the burst. He's probably trying to charge cancel dash L. But all right, he's gonna take that 2-0. Are any other games going on? Uh, Pipe Junior versus Miller 2B, I'll put that on. Okay, this is 1 1 right now. Right. So let's take a look at this match. Oh man, Whiff's Powered Wrecker gets thrown for it. Yep. Oh, nice throw. All right, yep. Thought Junior just kind of trying to weave his way in, but... Oh, that was a really funny catch. Yeah, you can boost uh, Tarantula's Powered Wrecker if you hold it down and press the boost button. It's probably something most people forget about, and uh, you know, you saw it work out right there. Oh, trade? Oh man, I have the wrong bracket link too. Hold on. Let me just post that here. Let me fix that. Again, sorry for not updating that. I did a tournament on Friday and kind of didn't touch Twitch during the weekend. All right, that's going to be 2-1 for Miller 2B. And OG Fruit Lives is S91 still going. All right, that's also 1-1. One, one. Oh man. Yeah, Fruit Loops on match point here, but he's got a little life deficit to work with. Oh. Oh man, probably another a charge cancel attempt there. Alright, this is intense. Oh, he's got his arm. Got his arm back. Nice DP. Yeah, OG Fruit Loops is kind of running away with this character. All right, five seconds left. I don't know what Jocko can do in this situation. Ah, oh, that's not going to be enough. And OG Fruit Loops takes that 2-1. All right, uh, I think this one I'm gonna do Miller 2B versus Slamtown on stream, because I don't think I've had a full set of Slamtowns on stream. It'll be the fourth and final round of Swiss, and then we'll move on to our top four.
Hanbury versus Cornflakes, Vices versus S91. All right, we got all our matches going on. Let's get into this one. It's gonna be Slam Town on the left, Miller Two B on the right. Oh, I already missed something. All right. Well, right. Good DP. Golden is a very quirky uh, armor here, but you know, slow, high damage. Doesn't seem like he'd be too strong in this game, but he does do a lot of damage and does still have a pretty functional mix-up game and that's really all you need to to do damage to do work in this game oh misses punish there why is it now golden can do uh boost dp and then follow it up with something yeah there you go oh gets a throw another throw right yeah i've been kind of harassing him with the uh flamethrower there that's that's a pretty unique weapon. I, only Golden has it. Some of the bots like share weapon types uh, generically, but some of them have completely unique ones. Oh, nice. One more hit, and yeah, nice. Boosts right up to him in the air and then just lets it loose. And we'll see what the final results are, but I think Miller 2B and S91 are in the bag for sure. Oh, good catch. Again, everything is air air blockable in this game, except for, you know, air throws. But sometimes you can just get caught off guard and air to air. This is pretty even. I think Miller 2B has a slight lead here, so sometimes got to kind of work work his way in here. Oh, trade for the knockdown. Oh, nice jumping weapon there. Oh, the super. That's not going to chip out. Oh. Oh no. Nice. Well played from Slamtown there, just clutching it out with the uh, goal lariat. Oh man. Miller just kind of throwing him to death here. All right, this is not a great position for Slam Town, but again, lots of lots of time on the clock. Yep. Now I haven't talked about it a lot because we haven't seen too much of it, but you can guard cancel in this game. You have to press boost uh, when you're just after you block in order to uh, boost out of the block stun, and you'll either you can do a grounded boost or you'll uh, jump into the air if you're holding up back, and that can be important. Uh, while you're holding up, you can still throw people, you know, during your pre-jump, so you can guard cancel throw, or uh, for a lot of characters, you can like guard cancel into a dash attack, which is really useful for uh, Golden. Oh, that's going to be a punish, yep. Oh, good catch with the weapons. Yeah, Tarantula weapon is just really useful in general for interrupting stuff. And it's also got flying a hit stun if it connects on the ground, so you can usually follow it up. Unless you're throwing them for full screen. Yeah, just like that. Oh, it doesn't get the full combo. Hey Kashkabald. Uh unfortunately this is hold on. You're from you're from Portugal, right? I'm trying to remember. This is North and South America, unfortunately. 
Uh, if there's interest in people like running a Europe tournament, that's that's always a good option. I'll support it for sure. I'll promote it. Yeah, I'm just trying to kind of bridge the gap as far as connections go. I know like, especially a game like this is kind of kind of rough to play in a, uh, you know, a 200 MS or whatever connection. I've had other games where, you know, yeah. I've had other games where people kind of complain, you know, how come it's only NA or, you know, even even expanding to South America is sometimes not great. I know the Karnaz Revenge guys didn't have too much fun with that last year. I probably want to talk to you after about, like, doing Karnov stuff for Karnov Ember as, like, a more coordinated regional thing. But uh, we're, in, we're in Cyberbots right now. So far, yeah, Miller 2B doing a lot of damage. Nice OTG throw. Oh, another thing that Tarantula can do, even though it's uh, obviously less damage than DP, is to just go into uh, Power Wrecker 236L uh, from Dashlight. Okay, the throw punish. Oh, I have the scores wrong, by the way. That's 1-1. One, one. Uh, 2 1 actually for Miller 2B, as I said that. Yeah, that's 2 1. Okay. So, what's going on right now? Uh, Lab Junior versus McD James. All right. This is actually 0 0, huh? They have to reset or something? Oh, whatever. Pipe Junior. All right, yeah. Oh, they probably had to reset because James might have messed up the Hellion code. Boss codes are not fun in this game. Uh, I don't even remember what Hellions is off the top of my head. That stuff's on the wiki. From what I heard, the Cyberbots uh, fighting, or the Capcom fighting collection, sorry, I'm thinking of Cyberbots because that's why I'm getting the collection. Uh, it's supposed to have an easy boss select from what I heard from uh, Guardian a mystery game TO who was at Combo Breaker and tried the collection. So we'll see how it works. It'll hopefully make running tournaments a lot easier for this game. Alright, yep. Pipe trying to throw out DP so hopefully catch James out of whatever annoying air move that Hellion's gonna do next. Alright, good charge cancel with that boost H. Uh, trying to use a burst to hit him all the way up there. I get the idea, but I think if Hellion's actually all the way at screen height, you might not be able to hit him. You might have to wait for him to come down a little bit. Ouch. Alright. Back to this match, that uh, jump H, the bullets from Hellion, are uh, kind of annoying, but they don't deal any hit stun or chip, so... Uh, problem is, like, if you're trying to air to air him and you get clipped by a few of them, that'll do a pretty good chunk of damage. Alright. Blodio with the lead now against this character. Sometimes the best thing to do here is just kind of put out a weapon. Because you can also charge cancel your weapon attacks to count as normal moves, and... That can be a pretty good way to either disrupt someone hanging out in the air, or provide a way to approach. Alright, well... This is this is Hellion's win condition. You can kind of cut out the match right here, unless James makes a pretty big mistake with his character. Yes, yeah, even when he lands, it can... If, they're, uh, if they mix up their landings pretty well, it can be hard to actually catch them before they get out, get into the air again. Aw oh, man, that would have... That would have been Pipe's opportunity right there. Oh, the matches are reported. I guess I guess Fight Kid acted up and I got into the replay just as it ended, so it ends up replaying the whole thing. Uh, 
So, spoilers, this ends up being 2-0 for James. Uh, I'm going to look at the results so far. So the top four will be Miller 2B, S91, Hanbei, and Pipe Jr. So let me add those to the bracket. So top four is all going to be streamed, and uh, it's all going to be first of three, so there's no like special thing for grand finals or whatever, but uh, it's going to be Miller 2B versus Pipe Jr. first. I'm just going to wait for this thing to finish. Let me also update the bracket on here. Ooh, dang. All right, so there's a 2-1. Hold on, babe. Let me just uh, refresh a page here and see. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Fightcade or uh, Challenge was showing me an outdated thing. Okay. Uh, so, so. All right. Uh, let me fix that. So Miller, Hanbei, Cornflakes, S91. I think the order is kind of important here. Let me just order that around. So Miller 2B, Hanbei 2nd. Okay, cool. Uh, the bracket is up to date now. Let me start it. First up is going to be 
Miller 2 Beavers S91. Uh, yeah, all the top four matches are going to be on stream. Right now I'm waiting for Miller and S91 to start. Let me just open the lobby again just in case Fight Kid's acting weird. God, I'm still not a fan of this new layout. I think they should have kept favorites right there. Okay, there we go, yeah. Right. S91 on the left, Miller on the right. They're cool. Right, we're ready. So that's going with Jackal right now. Both of these bots have the uh, double jump type of boost in the air, so that's going to be kind of weird seeing them kind of fading out of each other's ranges. Oh yeah, right now this is looking really good for S91. Right, good chase. Oh. Oh man, the uh, weapon catches him there. Right, so it was a pretty quick round one. thing about cyberbots especially this level is very hot and cold you know sometimes you just kind of overwhelm someone with the offense and and you win the round in like 10 seconds 20 seconds all right good weapon to stop his tattoo there I think the thing about jackal at least that I struggle with is kind of finding chances to use tattoo where they won't kind of get anti-aired by a smart opponent And I'm almost thinking maybe I should have a different uh, scoreboard layout for this just so it's easier to see people at the top of the screen, but then I'd be covering up the pilots if I put something at the bottom. Oh, good air to air Tatsu from S91, that's going to be round one. Also, and I think I forgot to mention in the chat, but this is first of three. Oh, good catch. It's the uh, normal throw version, which is three different attacks you can get after you land Power Wrecker as Tarantula. If you don't press anything, you'll get kind of a, a pummel that doesn't do too much damage. If you press any attack, you'll get the slam right there, which is pretty useful. And there's the extra damaging 2 and 4 a which the uh, 100 missiles or whatever it's called, it's really cool looking, does a lot of damage. It's a lot easier to secure that from the air-to-air -air version because you can actually react to him landing. Alright. Yeah, just a lot of kind of trying to find a good position to attack from and both these bots are pretty matched in terms of range. Oh, good catch. Nice. Yeah, you can tell Mother Tubi wasn't exactly anticipating that 2-3-6H from Jackal. Oh, nice. Yep, there's the 100 missiles that we were looking for. Wow, yeah, Tarantula weapon can be really sneaky. Just It's one of the smaller, you know, more low-key weapon attacks in the game. Oh, nice, OTG throw. Oh, no arm. Alright. Well, Miller 2B does get a few hits. 
Again, the scary thing about not having your arm is not having throws. So in a lot of tick throw situations, you can't reversal throw. And otherwise, you know, a lot of bots rely on having meter to uh, to have a re reversal. Off the top of my head, I can only think of Blodia who doesn't need one, but... Alright, this is looking really close. Oh, no, if that had, if Miller had got that combo, that would have been it. All right. That's currently 2-0 for S91. We'll see if Miller's able to bring this back. Oh, yeah, Riot has the drill, yeah. I guess that counts. I have no idea if when it's actually invincible, but it's a funny move that you don't want to use too much. Oh, all right. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah. He's looking really close right now. You end up saying that a lot in this game, I feel like. You know, a lot of damage isn't, like, ridiculously high for most characters, so it'll take a few combos to really get someone down, and that means, means when you reset to neutral and you trade some hits, it'll kind of to kind of be in a pretty close position here. Oh, Miller 2 has been trying those uh, setups with the the weapon canceling to uh, stomp there, and unfortunately he's been getting thrown for it a few times. Yeah, the inputs in this game they're not as unforgiving as a uh, Street Fighter 2 a lot of the time, but they're still they're still decently hard. And for hitbox players especially, uh, if there's anyone in the chat, you do have to hit the diagonals. Again, this is 1995, so the inputs were very much designed for arcade. But other than that, I think hitbox does make some of the tech in this game a little easier. Because a lot of it is based on the buttons. Oh, wow. That was a really well-played match from Miller 2B, by the way. All right. Oh, the tea bag. All right. I mean, look, I respect the confidence if it helps him bring this back. Oh, the surprise stomp gets him. Alright, dashing out of the way, that Tatsu. Oh, solid punish doesn't get a knockdown from it, though. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Yeah, getting uh, getting tarantula heavy blocked is never fun. Definitely one of the more unsafe buttons if you don't charge cancel it or something. So, all right, that's gonna be three zero for S ninety one. All right, next is gonna be Hanbei versus OG Cornflakes. So yeah, this is going to be fun, uh, and this is going to take, this part of the bracket is going to take uh, a bit longer, obviously, since we've got all these first of threes, but this is kind of, this is kind of the benefit of uh, Swiss, is you get to run all these uh, qualifying matches, and then uh, you get to see like the game really shown off at a higher level. I feel like it's a good medium between, you know, saving time by running uh, a standard double limb bracket where it's first to two up to top three, which obviously is what like a lot of IRL tournaments do for time. And the uh, more games option of, you know, running round robin or round robin for qualifying pools as well. Because that results in more games, but obviously everyone playing everyone. All right. So OG Cornflakes trying out Killer B. This is interesting. I haven't seen, I haven't seen him actually play this character before. But 
Killer B was one of the other uh, hover characters I was forgetting about. That I feel like Killer B does have some decent uh, rushdown to play with those mines because he can uh, cause unblockable since those hit low. But other than that, you know, having the having the hover boost does a lot for this character. Oh, good burst. Uh, what just happened? Hold on. Oh. That sucks. Uh, hold on. Be honest, I don't know if there's, if we can really recreate the, uh, the match as far as it went, because we were at what, uh, I don't think there was even one game. Oh, there was one game taken uh, on Hanbei's side. I don't know if people want to... Uh... Are you guys okay with just restarting? Wait, was I... Maybe the game desynced, because I saw... Oh, no, uh... Yeah, I saw Hanbei got around. Alright, you guys are going to reset? Cool, that makes it a lot easier for me. Alright. OG Cornflakes is on the left this time. <clears throat> Alright, same characters. I guess I should have should have been able to see that something was off with the movement, but Oh good throw. Oh yeah, that's gonna kill. Solid damage. Oh, good air throw. Yeah, let's see. That's the other thing that Killer B has that really helps their rushdown game is having an air throw in this game, which I actually can't think of any other characters that have a straight up air throw. Like some characters will have a, a super like Tarantula or something, but just the regular old air throw does a lot. Trying to trying to dash out the corner there and getting caught. Oh, good mines. Oh, nice air throw. That almost killed too. Oh, that air throw after like an air block exchange there. That's it's actually really scary now that you think about it. There are probably a lot of situations where if Killer B ends up air blocking right in front of you, they just, you know, you can't do anything about that. You have to take that damage. Oh yeah, I forgot about the other most notable character that has an air throw, uh, Vice, which we haven't seen all tournament. Uh, Vice has a command grab, 6 through 3, any attack, uh, body scrap, which works on the ground and in the air. It actually has even more range in the air, so... If we saw Vice at all this tournament, uh, that would have been sick. Vice is probably the best character, at least uh, not including the bosses. 
probably even even among the bosses it might be the best you know not counting warlock who's banned oh nice anti-air sword there that is kind of the danger of using riot's uh, rocket punch to move around oh good burst for avoiding the punish the chip not quite enough Aw, oh, man, gets caught. Alright, it's gonna be one for Hanbei. Alright. Sticking with the same characters. Very good drill. Oh, that was a good charge cancel, but OG Cornflakes hesitated a little bit there. Uh, he's got such a lead to make up for now. Oh, nice air throw. Again, a lot of situations where that air throw can be used. Oh, good block. Oh, gets the throw. Oh, wow. I wonder if that was on purpose or if uh, that happened just because um, they got crossed up. Input might have come out on accident. Horror bots are a little interesting in that if you hover, you actually do turn around in the air. But yeah, especially matchups like this just kind of exemplify that there's no game quite like cyberbots you know love it or hate it the uh the air game is very different in this game than anything else oh gets the arm ripper doesn't quite do enough damage there Right, yep. I'm kind of all the way up in the air there. Oh. oh wow, good snipe with the mine right there. That's gonna be one for OG Cornflakes. This is 1-1. One, one. Okay, so we're off. Right now, uh, OG Cornflakes being a bit more aggressive with Killer B, you know, kind of fading back. Oh, not a big punish on that, but it's still something. Nice. Good try dashes there coming out from OG Cornflakes. I feel like he's got a lot more confidence with his character now. This is what's what really makes Killer B shine is just how fast uh, the boost moves and like different ways to redirect yourself in the air to fake people out. Riot's comparably a lot slower, but you know, effective at stalling in the air. Oh nice, there's that air throw again. Yep, that kind of exchange, you know, if Killer B ends up blocking anything that's just, you know, you're taking damage from that, that's that's really messed up. Yep, and setting up the mine so that if Riot for whatever reason decides to stop stalling, you know, can't do that because you land on the mine. Alright, gets a OTG throw. Oh, arm pops up, gets uh, picked right back up. Oh, no punish on that whiffed uh, rocket punch there. All right, just flying around. Oh, wow. All right. Go on Cornflakes to fade back there. Hanbei ends up spending his burst. Oh, the dash attack coming out, and that's gonna it's gonna be 
Cornflakes up 2 1. Again, this is first to three, so. There's still a chance for things to turn around. Yeah. Oh, you see Riot punching right through the mines there. That's the other thing about the uh, weapon types in this game. Some weapons can be stopped by uh, normal attacks or just physical moves. Others can uh, only be stopped by other projectiles. Sometimes a certain weapon will go through like a normal or a special projectile. Like uh, interaction I found a lot with playing Cornflakes when he played Lodia was uh, he'd just use Lodia's bit, regular weapon, and uh, I'd use Swordsman's uh, reverse DP, the Ray Splash or whatever it's called, it shoots in uh, three different directions and Lodia's bit would just go clean through that. All right, looking solid for OG Cornflakes right now, but he's got to be careful leaving himself too open for uh, Riot there when he's trying to rush him down. Riot's got, you know, a few quick options, surprisingly, for the type of character he is. And also uh, a throw that's really hard to tech, which is pretty important in those scramble situations. Oh, nice hitting the big booster, that jump H, really slow, really long range. Oh, man. Yep, running out of the time with Riot, pretty strong. I actually didn't even notice it. I wasn't looking at the timer myself. As far as attacking, I haven't talked about it too much in detail, but when you see that button prompt come up, you're supposed to press boost right when you hit the ground. Yeah, just like that. And every move has a different timing. Riot's throw where he just kind of slams you right into the ground doesn't give you a long time to react to the tech. Another reason the uh, mash type throws, which are typically on your light button to balance them, are uh, not very good because in addition to not doing too much damage, you're pretty easy to tech. Oh, gets crossed up into that. That little uh, rising attack electric voltage that Riot does is low. Wouldn't make much sense for it to not hit low, right? Right. 25 seconds left. Uh, Right now, neither of them have a huge lead, but uh, Cornflakes does have the lead if he wants to play it lame. Oh, wow, yeah. Dang, Attack trying to attack this character air to air is dangerous. Alright, this might be a match point for OG Cornflakes here. Oh man, just weaving around in circles right now, Hanbei, that's, yeah, that's fun with this character. Got a lot of different ways you can move around thanks to the hover boost, even if it is slow, uh, compared to killer bees at least. Still decently fast in its own right. And as, as you can see, it actually gets a little faster if you, if you hold into it for a while. So sometimes you can kind of suddenly move forward a lot faster than you'd expect from this character. But those, uh, that obviously uses more of your boost meter, so those micro boosts are mostly what people do to stall. Alright. Oh. Man, their health is looking totally even right now. Oh no, that's going to be huge for OG Cornflakes. Oh. Uses the burst. Probably not a great situation to use that in, but he's alright without it. Alright, time's running out. Um, he's gonna have to figure out something to get in here. Aw oh, man. Alright. That's gonna be 3-1 for OG Cornflakes. Well played. All right, we'll play one more of winners and then we'll take a look at the loser's bracket here. So up next, S91 versus OG Cornflakes.
Yeah, Killer B also having, uh, I think, the lowest health in the game. Uh, kind of unkind to that character, but to be honest with the stuff that that character can do, maybe a little deserved. I don't know. Right, we're getting into this. So, more standard set of bots here. Uh, they've got two very distinct types in a uh, Rep Jackal here in uh, Blodia. Oh, nice jump to rage from OG Cornflakes there to kind of stall him out. Right, trying to sweep, but Jackal manages to boost out of it in time. Oh no, the charge cancel. Yeah. You get hit while charging, you end up losing your arm instantly. That's a very interesting mechanic to kind of try and keep the charge cancels in check. Because if you do it at the wrong time in neutral, like you're trying to follow behind your weapon, then you might get clipped and you lose your arm. And funny enough, both these bots have the same weapon type, the bit there. Kind of shoots in a straight line. Uh, you also have, you know, up-angled, down-angled versions you can use in the air. Oh. I think Cornflakes is going to take this. Oh my god, it's a stalemate. How often do you see that in this game? So that, oh man, that doesn't even count around for either player. That, that kind of sucks. If you end up stalling out and going even in life just to just to not get anything. But that's a game we play, right? And that you know, that round still provides a lot of useful information for each player. All right, Jackal's got super now. I think the stalling at like a high level might be what kind of turns people off from the game, but I think it's still very fun to play out either way. It's not like Smash where you've got 8 minute rounds to worry about. Oh, alright, gets a throw. No TG follow up. Oh, wow. Misses the tech on that throw and gets, gets killed by the shot right there. Oh man, yeah, it gets the throw and that's going to take it. That's one game for S91. Also, I noticed the uh, Mizumi wiki doesn't actually have the uh, the health values or I guess the damage multipliers for different bots. That's on uh, super combo right now, so sometime later I'm going to have to rip that and put that onto the wiki. Because at the moment, uh, Mizumi takes from Japanese sources and has a lot more information in general. It's got like complete moveset descriptions and not just special move inputs and nothing else. Again, I have to thank uh, Kajok and Helder for working on that a lot and really getting it up to snuff in like, I want to say the past year. It was definitely a lot longer than I've like been taking an interest in the game. Alright. S91 playing a pretty solid runaway here with Jackal, just kind of getting out of the way of whatever OG Cornflakes is attempting to do to open him up. And he still keeps Super going to the second round. Oh, spends it right there and ends up, ends up catching him out of the air. Alright, nice DP. Problem is, light DP doesn't provide that much frame advantage because it only hits once, but it still goes up pretty high. Oh wow, that was a really nice string there. Yeah, Blodia, one of the higher damage mechs in this game, despite being like kind of the beginner friendly, you know, normal average character 
at least the way he's kind of sold as a protagonist, right? But he can definitely do a lot of damage real quick. Good throw there. Oh, yep, does that jump in from a little too high, gets thrown for it. Alright, good sweep. I'm liking these charge cancels I'm seeing. Oh, nice. Dako managed to jump out of that sequence, though. I think instead of going for 214A, uh, Cornflake would have been able to throw him there. Doesn't matter now, though. They're kind of back into neutral. And this is looking pretty close, and Cornflake obviously has super on deck, so he can potentially catch him, do some good damage with that. Thanks. Alright. Still plenty of time left on the clock. Gets a throw. Ah, uh, no OTG. It's a problem. You can't throw someone while you're boosting. You have to stop your boost somehow. Fine, you can uh, press boost again. You can press back, so 4 on your uh, controller. Or you can uh, actually start a jump, and if you... Even pressing up forward and uh, either attack button can still give you a throw while you're in your pre-jump. Oh, that could have been a throw right there. Alright, nice. Knock down, it's time for Cornflakes to put the pressure on. Alright. S91's over the corner, but he's taken a lot of damage so far. Oh, nice burst, gets blocked. A slight jump light kick punish, or just jump light. I actually wonder if... Uh, because Jackal can combo jump light into Todd, so I wonder if that would have been worked from that distance. I'm guessing it wouldn't have. I mean, S91's the one up there playing, he'd know better than me. Oh, nice 2 ult to stop that tri dash. Oh, yeah, this time's gonna run out. Yep. Alright, this is going to be match point for S91 unless Cornflakes can, you know, quickly run away with some games here as Blodia, which is not impossible with this character at all. Nice. Oh, man. Yep, you got to watch your meter. If you're getting close, you might accidentally uh, burst instead of charge cancel. Oh, nice air to air weapon. Every weapon has its own use and own different trajectory it can go in the air, and having that bit type can, you know, provide you an anti-air that works at pretty much any range, or air-to-air, -air rather, that works at pretty much any range if you're across from someone, so that's really useful. Right. Once again, like a lot of matches before this one, uh, Cornflake... Cornflakes is at kind of a disadvantage here, but... Oh no. Attempts to try dash in and get stopped by a Jackal's weapon right there. Alright, S91 is going to take that. Uh, 3-0. And we're going to loser's bracket. It's going to be Miller 2B versus Hanbei. There we go.
All right, Miller to be on the left. So uh, Tarantula Riot, huh? This is going to be interesting. Oh, nice. Really tricky cross up there. Oh, just slightly out of range of that power record catch. Oh, no. Gets clipped by the rocket punch there. Oh, nice catch at round start. Oh, good burst, stealing back the uh, offensive momentum there. Oh, yep, gets crossed up by rolling, and this is going to be tough now again. Oh, gets clipped by the burst. Oh no. Alright, gets out of that. Doesn't quite get chipped out by the uh, lightning there. Oh. Nice. One more kick, quick sequence like that. Oh, there we go. That was a really good comeback by Miller. Yeah, sorry, loser is still first to three. And the entire top four here is first of three. Oh, nice. Um, bands up crossing him under in the corner. Oh, hit that throw not gonna kill. Oh, J2H. That, that's what's so interesting about the uh, bots move sets is that they're so compact and yet they've got a move for every situation and you end up forgetting about some options they might have. Alright, that jump H doing a lot for Miller right now. Oh no, that's gonna... Oh man. Yeah, that rocket punch up close drop confirm would be pretty punishable. Oh, nice. Might have noticed back there that Tarantula's jump belt just barely didn't hit Riot, and that's... Because it has kind of a shorter horizontal hitbox compared to Jackal's. It has more of a vertical one, so it can instant overhead everyone in the cast, I believe. It's just on some characters, it's like one frame window, or some it's two or three frames. Oh, goes for the boost grab there. Or not grab, you know, hit grab, catch, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, 15 seconds left. All Miller be needs is one key grab. Oh, good hit there. Oh, the chip damage. Nice. Oh, that barely sealed it. Wouldn't crazy if the time it took Rocket Punch to execute ended up stalling out the time, but not quite there. Oh, nice boost out of the way. Oh. Tarantula boost H is also pretty good. You can cancel all of the hits. Unlike a lot of uh, multi-hit boost attacks where you can cancel maybe the first or second hit, depending. Now, uh, Miller's got a bit of a lead here, but again, there's a lot of time left and it's really close, so it could be anyone's game. I like all these jumps that Miller's doing though, because at any point Tarantula can faint, he can do, you know, jump H or uh, jump weapon, and 
those cover a very different angle and you might not even notice a jump weapon at first. He fires it off the top of the screen like that. Oh. oh this is so close. Nice weapon there. Alright, that's gonna be one one. This is one of the best stages in the game, too. You can just... There's so many animated details here. There's a crowd running away when you destroy stuff. It's so cool. Alright. Oh, nice. Yep, again, when you get the air version of that, you have lots of time to confirm. Alright. Good use of the weapon there. Oh, another one. That's going to do a lot of damage. Yep. Punish. Alright, Riot was still airborne there, so you don't get the full combo punish, unfortunately. That might might be the time here to sneak in a weapon. But yeah, Riot boosts forward under that. Oh man, good jump L there to call it out. You can see there, yeah, Hanabe just holding full forward on the boost there and gives him a decent bit of speed. Oh, nice grab. That uh, big hand can always be useful at a decent range. It's pretty fast. I think it's like 5 frames or something. A lot faster than you'd expect for someone with that much range. Not gonna lie, I really want to see Miller land a super, but it's it's kind of unlikely with where Hanbei's been positioning himself. Unless he manages to get him like to run out his boost near the corner. Oh, dang. Alright, but Hanbei's also spent his burst, so these guys are in pretty even standing right now. Oh. Nice jump L. Oh, this is so close. And Tarantula doesn't have any really outstanding sources of chip. He has maybe a 4 2 one L. Oh wow, yeah, just getting hit by the rocket punch above the screen where you can't see it. It's rough to like go a whole match with all this stalling and then just get clipped by something you can't see, but that's that's the fate of Cyberbot sometimes. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's pretty safe on air block anyway. Oh, good combo there. Alright, air to air weapon. Oh, no combo there. Feel bad for calling out the combo drops there, but I just... You want to see the best out of each player with their character. And Tarantula has a lot of really good combo opportunities with those boost attacks. Okay, at this point Miller just playing it safe. He's got a lead, he's got a lot of, uh, you know, not too much time to work with, so... Hanbei does have to kind of find his way in here. Yep, one more hit could even things up. Oh, the jump weapon right there, yep. Alright, this is 2-1 so far. And this is still first to three. Alright, locking into Riot instantly, yep. There's a bold move there to DP on round start. Branch this isn't even invincible, it is fast though, and it does cover an upward arc, so it can be... I guess it can catch someone out of the air too. For the most part though, it's just a combo tool. Nice. Alright. 
Miller's getting these. Oh, there it is. There's the anti-air. Miller's been getting these uh, jump light kick air to airs that haven't been doing too much damage, but could put him in a very good position to like get a throw or you know a strike throw mix up. All right, time's running out. He's got to land a solid hit or maybe a throw or two on Riot. Wow, oh, this is rough. I don't think there's much Tarantula that can do here except charge up some meter. Oh, just round start. Quick combo there. And just like that, Hanbei's off. Dang. You're getting clipped by these. Yeah. Hanbei's just using this. Uh, this pattern of kind of almost like figure eighting around the arena and just kind of using these using these rocket punches to get around. Thinking best solution to this is kind of try to air to air with uh, Powered Wrecker, air version six, 236 or 632 either way. Uh, the light version, which will hit just straight in front of you. Oh, nice air to air. So now we're 2 2, and this is going to be the last game, no matter what. God, this has been just down to the wire. Pretty much every game. Right. Good powered record right there. Right, air block. Good catch. Oh, he's getting a lot of these off. Oh, nice. Really strong pressure coming out from Miller 2B. It's kind of jumping because it's the end. Putting yourself in a good spot to use J2W is really helpful for this character. Although you've also got to watch out the uh, weapon gauge, because if you use it too much, you know, you won't be able to use it again for a bit. And if you're trying to, like, shoot sneaky missiles from the air, you'll have to wait to actually use it for offense again. Another thing that makes this game so interesting. You know, these resources obviously regenerate pretty quickly. Oh, nice burst. And that gets him his arm back and puts him back in the game. Again, it's not too hard to get your arm back. It's just like, if someone's actively preventing you from getting in that spot, it can be hard. It's not like Sam Show where you actually commit to picking it up and you can get punished right then and there, but that just makes sense for it to be easier to actually pick up in this game. The arm kind of acts like as your stun in this game because there's no actual stun. All right, yeah, Miller playing very defensively right now. Oh man, just a few of those uh, shots right there evens it up. Oh, nice. Gets a sneaky hit there. Ah oh, man, no throw punish. Yeah, right now it's up for Miller to up to Miller to catch Hanbei here. Oh, he's not hitting his mark so far. Oh, good jump H there. And now things have turned around. Yep. Oh, nice. Snatches him out of the air there. Oh no. Oh, this is Riot's game right here. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Dang. That's rough. Alright. Hanbei gonna take that 3 2 over Miller 2B.
All right, this is our second loser match, and then winner of this goes into grand finals. It's going to be OG Cornflakes versus Hanbei. Just go for the timeout, bro. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to be right back. Sorry about that, I had to go do something real quick. And this is this is neck and neck right now. Alright. Right now, uh Yeah, right now uh OG Cornflakes in the slight lead here. And again, they're both just kinda staying outside each other ranges right now. The air throw. Again, that air throw, it's just, I can't stress enough how useful that is in this game. Oh, it doesn't block the low. And free chip damage and safe spacing, yet yeah, now Riot's getting away. Right. Oh, nice. He just. Man. Oh, and then Riot just gets a super out for disrespect, I guess. Right, not an ideal trade for Killer B here. But yeah, even on such a small life lead, you know, if Riot wants to run away, he can. Oh. Yeah, now it's kind of Cornflake's turn to run away if he wants to. Alright, good charge cancel. Yep, slowly and surely, Han base chipping away. Oh, 
gets a solid rocket punch air to air. And, you know, now again, balls in OG Cornflakes court. Oh no, tries to dash right back in there and gets caught by low. It's gonna be 1-0. Or, oh, 2-0. Sorry, I missed the whole game there. Alright, locking back into the same character. But to be fair, that air throw has been helping a lot uh, on OG Cornflake's side. Yo, what's up, Kajog? Hopefully, uh, I don't know if you've been watching, or, uh, but hopefully the VOD is fun, you know. I tried out Swiss, it ran pretty smoothly, now we're in top 4. This is the, uh, I guess, loser's finals, effectively, you know. Loser of this is that winner of this has to play S91 in Grand Finals. It's been fun seeing uh, OG Cornflakes move around with uh, Killer B here. I didn't know he played the character, I pretty much only played against his Blodia. Yeah. Shame you couldn't make it. Uh, I was going to ask when I saw you on, but I figured you were probably busy. Uh, the other thing, unfortunately, Illuminati didn't uh, check in. He was busy. Or I think he uh, missed the ping, he said. Yeah, he said he forgot and didn't see the ping. Uh, it happens. I'm thinking like based on the based on the time frame I can definitely keep running these like this, you know, do Swiss and then go into top four. I was kinda worried maybe like the first to three for the entire top four might have dragged on if we had enough like stall heavy matches like this, but it's it's been moving along. Again, this tournament so far, uh, with some small breaks has been about two hours, I think I've been live. So maybe uh Maybe an hour 40, just not including like this startup and stuff. Oh, dang, wasted the burst right there. Unfortunate. Catches him out of the drill. Wonder if the drill like extends his hurt box back or if the uh, riot's burst is just that good. There's still some stuff that I don't know about this game, but it's been very fun learning it so far. Shame, uh, the guy who was going to commentate this with me, uh, Nani Meg, did not. I think he was said he was busy with work today. Which, I mean, again, yeah, I know weekdays aren't the most convenient. I just, I do stuff on Fridays. Either I do online tournaments or I go to my locals on Fridays. And other than that, uh, there's like a lot of overlap with different events on, on the weekend and just on other days of the week, so I thought Monday was a good fit. That and I wanted to make this Cyber Monday joke, but I ended up not liking the uh, logo I whipped up for it. Alright, so what are we looking at here? Riot's got the lead. And good. Oh man, gets the wake up throw. But yeah. Hanbei has not been hesitating at all to uh, stall it with Riot, even if he has like a, you know, two pixel life lead. If he's got like a one light worth, he'll run for it. Right. Jump L punish on air block. Yep, there's an air throw again. Good block on that cross up. I actually don't know if that hit cross up or not. Cross ups in this game a little weird, to be honest. Oh, drills right into the ground, catches him off guard. Oh, nice burst. And yeah, that drill from Riot is a move that's not strictly good, but it'll sometimes catch people off guard, not unlike uh, Soul's Riot Stamp, except there's no FRC on it, so it's actually a lot worse, but you know what I mean. Alright, this is looking really close. Oh yeah, that's going to be it. We actually saw a timeout that uh, was a, a draw a stalemate in this game uh, a few matches ago, which will be kind of fun to clip and upload later.
but this is going to be 3 0 for Hanbei. Mm. So, funny enough, this ends up being Brazil Grand Finals, uh, S91 on winners, Hanbei on losers. Here we go. All right, I got the sides correct. All right, it's going to be very interesting to see this one play out because I feel like as Jackal, as a multiple jump type character, it's going to be pretty hard to catch Ride if he's running away. But establishing an early lead, you know, just completely avoids that issue. Oh, that was a weird reset. The thing about... Uh, both these players, honestly, they're good at taking advantage of weird situations like that. I think you have to, you just have to learn how to do that, uh, you know, to be good at this game. God, he's got no life at all. Oh, yep. Even a light throw will do it. All right. Oh, that might be the game for Hanbei. It's right here. Oh, all right. The weapon catches him. Yeah, good call on the charge. We didn't see that a lot in the other rounds. People just opting to charge up when someone's in the air like this. As I guess partially just because uh, Jackal has one of the better supers in the game, but even so, having your uh, Giga Crush or whatever it's called is pretty useful. Oh, it misses the punish. Oh, wow, eats a full jump age there from Riot, and that's that's going to be pretty bad OTG throw. Yeah, now we're running. The good thing, though... I believe H Tatsu is actually plus on block. It's definitely plus on hit, you can link after it. And yeah, now the match is back in S91's favor. Only 10 seconds left on the clock. Oh, good catch. It's going to be one for S91. Yeah, he's been controlling the space pretty effectively as Jackal. He's been. He has a good idea of how to play this matchup, even when he's behind. It is kind of stressful to play against one of these hover characters and have to figure things out when you've got, you know, you've got to make it up. They've got the life lead. Oh, chip damage. What's the punish? Oh, dang. That could have been a huge punish, actually. I think jump light into Tatsu there would have worked for sure. Another thing with Jackal you gotta watch out for, he has a, a pretty mediocre mash move. It's not the worst thing in the game, but I feel like they made it on purpose like a Wolverine Swiss cheese. Alright, this is a classic Riot runaway. Oh, nice. Catches him from behind. You can't air block that. Alright, not a lot of time left. S91's got to figure out something fast. Oh, 
almost catches him with the Tatsu. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh, that's not quite going to do enough. I wonder if Heavy Throw would have killed there. Might have needed an OTG afterwards and there just wasn't enough time for it either way. Right, now S91's got the lead to start out. But dang, the arm damage. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is not looking good for Hanbei. And again, not having your arm means no throw, so you don't even have to worry about that reversal throw. God, yeah. Hanbei just running away with this, this massive lead, and even though there's 70 seconds left, oh, that burst was crucial. Right. If S91 can manage to corner him or catch him when he's coming down from the air again, this... He might be able to take it right then and there. Oh no. Nice. Good burst on Hanbei's end. That's going to be 1-1. One, one. Early lead for S91. Oh, gets the match move run and gets massively punished for it. That, that is the thing about Jackal. He's got a lot of moves that do solid amount of chips, so if Riot's got a tiny lead like that, you can always turn it around pretty quickly. Although, you know, we're looking at it now and already Hanbei's in a really good position. Good air block on that. Alright, a few more of these. Oh no, yeah, the Tatsu from there doesn't quite combo, so Riot ends up putting the burst out. Oh, catches him. And now, now it's back in S91's hands. Oh no. Alright. Only 10 seconds left. Really could be anyone's game. Oh, damn. Alright. Hanbei doesn't successfully catch him, so that's going to be for S91. Right, yep. Waiting out with those double jumps. Man, S91 hasn't been touched so far this game. Oh. As soon as I say it though. Oh, no hit confirmed from Riot there. That's gonna get punished. Alright, the burst. It's low. Oh, dang. S91 gets a throw out of nowhere, and that's going to be 2-1. Again, first of three, so there's still an opportunity for Hanbei to make this up, but so far this has been a little bit in S91's favor. Depends if he gets an early lead here, this could be it. I feel like you have to have just a really solid mindset going into this game, because the stalling can be annoying to deal with. But ultimately, like, the strategy around it feels good, and the movement is just so satisfying. There's, like, not a lot of games that really feel this smooth, despite despite piloting around these giant mechs. It, it's honestly incredible. And Jackal's got one of the safer uh, anti-air specials to throw out, that uh, whip. It's actually completely disjointed on the uh, heavy version that goes at that upward angle. Oh, sneaky, ended up landing behind uh, Hanbei right there. Right, I'm expecting the burst to come out at some point, but... I guess because Jackal has such a solid lead... Oh, there's a catch right there. 
Yeah, if if you're not air blocking, that'll pretty much beat out whatever you're putting out there. All right. Whoever lands the first hit could really set the pace of this match. Oh, that was a huge, uh, I guess, giant hand. It's not really like grab. I'm trying to think of what to call it. Capture right there. Because there are a lot of moves like that which are just blockable, but they do pretty heavy damage if you hit them on their first frame like that. All right. Oh, all right. Using Tatsu to get away there from... Well, would have been a somewhat unsafe situation. Not wanting to whisk, risk getting thrown there. Alright, we've seen this situation before. Hanbei's got the lead as Riot. Oh, nice. Attempting to take throw him there. Unfortunately, it's pretty hard to stop someone from running away once they're actually in the air. It's much about waiting for them to actually come down or hoping to air-to-air -air or anti-air them if they choose to attack. But... Alright, 10 seconds left. All S91 has to do here really is avoid being hit and that's not looking too hard for him right now. Yep. And that's going to be it. 3-1. S91 takes it. But double Brazil Grand Finals, that's fun. And also congrats to OG Cornflakes for making third. That's our top three right there. That's going to be S91 in first, Hanbei in second, OG Cornflakes in third. That's the end of the tournament. I'm going to upload this tomorrow. Good games. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, other future stuff for Cyberbots, obviously I'm going to be doing this bi-weekly. So the next one you guys can expect on the 27th. Uh, but then I'm going to be skipping the 11th because I'm actually still... I'm going to be just coming back from a UMAD Ultimate Montreal Air Dashers, which I actually whipped up a trailer for this uh, that I'm going to play right now. Hold on, here we go. And this is going to be the first offline tournament on the collection. But yeah, if anyone, I grabbed those from random events that I thought were cool. If anyone is going to be in the area or, you know, feels like coming out, if uh, flights are affordable or whatever, uh, let me know. I'm going to be there that weekend. I'm going to just raid uh, Kei and Nasaki who's playing uh, Akatsuki Blitzkamp as far as I can read. Unless they change games and it just didn't update it. That's some good fun poverty gaming right there.